welcome to all of you on the channel math with munir i hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos so today we are going to learn another very important topic which is basically the derivation of a quadratic formula so if you watch this video by the end so i can assure you two things that you will not be only understanding how to drive the quadratic formula but you will also be learning that how we can apply the completing square technique on any kind of a general equation all right so make sure that you are having your pen copy and pen with you and note it down every single step so that you could revise it over and over again so if wherever you are struggling you can pause the video you can go back and you can see what actually is being conveyed for the first time okay so in order to understand or in order to drive the quadratic formula what we are going to do we are going to take the general form of a quadratic equation so what's the general form of a quadratic equation it is a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. So wherever you are having this form a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, you will always see that there is one condition which is, has been written always along with this equation, which is that a is not equals to zero. Okay. So have my question for all of you that have you ever thought about it that why it's always written a is not equals to zero? So what if what if if a will be a will be equals to zero? So let's understand that why it, it is like that a should not be equal to zero. In order to understand that, you must need to know that quadratic equation basically says that we have over here the degree of this polynomial is actually two. Over here, the degree of this polynomial that we are having is actually two. Okay, why two? Because two x is the only variable that is involved in this equation and the highest power of this variable is actually 2. So that is why degree of this polynomial equation is 2. Okay, so if a is going to be 0, we are just considering the case that if a is going to be 0, this whole term will be 0 and you are left with only bx plus c equals to 0. Now, what's the power of this variable over here that we are having, which is actually 1. The power of this variable that we are having over here is 1. So we know that 1 means that the linear. So if a is going to be equals to 0, so you are not having the quadratic equation, but that quadratic equation will transform into linear equation. So that is why it is very important for you to understand that why a is not equals to 0. Okay, let's move to the first step which says, uh, so what we are going to do first, we will be shifting not to be neglected in from this general form of quadratic equation you can have families of quadratic equation and what do i mean by that families of quadratic equation we know that the values of a b and c over here are real numbers and the set of real number is infinite so if you are taking the value of let's suppose that if one person is taking the value of a b and c is one two and three he will get one equation another person will can take the value of a b and c is as 2 3 and 4 he will get another equation and there is someone else that who is saying that hey why you are taking 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 i will gonna take 7 minus 2 and minus 5 so it means that he is going to have uh, another equation so by taking the different values of a b and c you are going to have the families of quadratic equation okay the first step over here we are having that by shifting this constant from this side of the equation to the other side and this will become minus c. So it's a very simple. Okay. In order to apply the completing square technique, we must need to make sure that the coefficient of x square should always be 1. Remember, the coefficient of x square should always be 1. Even it should not be minus 1. Even if it is minus 1, you got to change it into plus 1. So what's the coefficient of x square that we are having over here? it's a okay so in order to eliminate that coefficient of x square i am going to divide the whole <coughs> sorry i am going to divide the whole equation with a so it would be a x square over a plus b over a x equals to minus c over a okay this a with cancel with this a and we are left with x square plus b over a x equals to minus c over a okay 
this is a square you can write it like that plus we know that this is basically a so you can write x over here and you can write b over a over here equals to minus c over a okay what's the formula for a plus b whole square in general a plus b whole square will be equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square we know that in the middle term there is 2 always whenever a and b are multiplied there should be 2 over here okay and what we are having a and b are multiplying with each other but there is no 2 so what we can do we can multiply with 2 over here and we can divide with 2 over here so that would be 2a remember that in mathematics you always need to maintain the balance so if you are multiplying with 2 you have to divide it you have to divide over here with 2 because that will remain that equation will always be remaining balance okay if somewhere you know that this is your a square let's suppose and you know that 2 a b so in order to complete just ignore this step for a while and focus on only on this so if you are having a square plus 2 a b what you are going to add or subtract in that in order to make uh, the perfect square we know that we will be adding b square and we will be subtracting b square so that is why this will become the complete formula so we have a square plus 2 a b we have b square we have 2 a and we have b but we do not have the term over here which says b square so but we do know what is b so what we will gonna do we will add the b square on this side of the equation and on this side of the equation so let's do it so x square plus 2 into x b over 2 a plus b over 2 a square we are adding over here and minus c over a and b over 2 a square okay so this all we know that this will be your formula for x plus a plus b b is 2 over a whole square and for this step we can simplify this side it would be b square over 4 a uh, square minus c over a okay so let's take down the LCM over here. So x plus b over 2a square will be equals to b square minus 4ac over uh, 4a square. Okay. Uh, in order to eliminate this square, what we are going to do, we are going to take the square root on both sides of this equation. So we'll take x plus b over 2a whole square. We'll take square root on this side. And also b square minus 4ac over 4a square okay we got square root over here okay so let me erase these steps okay now this square with cancel with this one and we will write x plus b over 2a equals to and over here once we simplify that we will get b square minus 4ac square root over so this square root will be separately applying on not only on numerator but also on denominator as well so 4a square will give you 2a and not to be neglected you got to put plus minus sign why we are writing the plus minus sign so let's take in general okay for every time when you take the square root of 4 it will give you plus minus 2 why because plus 2 square will also be 4 and minus 2 square will also be 4 so we don't know that this 4 is being made up of either plus 2 or either minus 2 so that's why we always write plus and minus but there are some cases where we do know that we do know that whether we are finding the uh, length of the rectangle or whether we are finding the radius or diameter of a circle so in those situations the length or the radius or the diameter or any distance can never be negative so in all those cases we always take the positive value okay so we want to find out x so it means this will go to the other side it will be minus b over 2a 
प्लस माइनस बी स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर ए सी स्क्वेयर रूट ओवर टू ए सो बेसिकली इन दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द रूट्स ऑफ दिस एक्स वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो दैट इज वाई वट एवर रिटर्न ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ द इक्वेशन अलॉन्ग विद एक्स वी आर गोइंग टू शिफ्ट इट टू द अदर साइड सो ओवर हेयर यू कैन टेक डाउन द एल सी एम सो इट विल बी माइनस पी प्लस माइनस बी स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर ए सी ओवर टू ए सो दिस रेक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स इज बेसिकली योर क्वाड्रेटिक क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला दैट यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई ऑन एनी काइंड ऑफ इक्वेशन सो आई होप दैट यू हैव गॉट दिस वीडियो एंड नाउ यू आर कम्प्लीटली फेमिलियर अबाउट हाउ टू ड्राइव द क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला सो रिमेंबर दैट वट वी हैव लर्न टूडे वी हैव लर्न द डेरीवेशन ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला विद द हेल्प ऑफ कम्प्लीटिंग स्क्वेयर टेक्निक सो इफ यू इफ यू डिड अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ डिड आई अप्लाई द कम्प्लीटिंग स्क्वेयर टेक्निक so then you will be able to know so question can come the quadratic equation can have been given to you and you will be having the free choice you just need to find out the solution of the variable that involved in quadratic equation so either you can go for the completing square technique or either you can go uh, for this quadratic formula so in my coming videos we are going to carry on with that topic and we will be learning that this was the case of general quadratic equation so we are going to take some examples and we will be solving them with the help of completing square and you will see that how we're going to do that so if you got this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe and share this as much as you can so that it could reach to maximum student